Today we are going to tour an island named Serenity. I visited this island before once and I knew I wanted to visit again to spend more time there. This is Karina's second island in New Horizon and she restarted her first one after 1,000 hours of gameplay. On her newer island, Serenity, she has spent about 500 hours. These are incredibly impressive numbers and I'm so excited to see this island once more. Karina mentioned that she is going for a more foresty feel and kind of cottagecore vibes on this island. I love all of the pictures she posts on Instagram and I know she's been um, doing some work recently, especially with the holidays coming up, so I'm really excited to see her new areas. Hi, welcome to Serenity! Yay! I'm so excited to be here. Let me <laughs> say hi. So, so cute. Oh my gosh. Are these, are these, oh my gosh. I do not need gifts, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> but thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Did I learn from last time? Not really, but at least, at least my pockets aren't as full. Mom's cushion! I love all of the mom's items. Illuminated tree. Is that a Chris? Is that a Christmas tree? Oh my god, I love Christmas. Oh no, I always do that. Oh my gosh. Open. Love piles of leaves. I'm not even kidding when I tell you I put them everywhere. And a green balloon. So cute. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be um, strolling by myself on this tour. So let me take a look at her map first. Lots and lots of different path work. And how many staircases does she have? Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so she has eight staircases, but <laughs> it looks like she has more. This, this is so intricate. I'm excited. So Karina is her, our resident. We have Gabby, Ketchup. Apollo, Genji, Portia, Blair, Bones, Doby, Tutu, and Deirdre. This map looks awesome and her dream address is listed below. So if you'd like to dream of Serenity yourself, go ahead and do it. <laughs> Just do it! All right, let's get started. I think I'm going to start on the right side of the map. Beautiful entrance. Look at all these statues on the entry entryway. And we come into this library. A little library and cafe. Oh my gosh, it looks like an internet cafe with the laptops here. So cute. I love the design that she has on those cushions too. Wow, that's really pretty. <laughs> And here's the pile of leaves. Such a cute internet cafe. <laughs> I would love to do homework here. And let's see what's over this way. I think I'm gonna start on the right side. Okay, so she has this cobblestone path as well, as well as the fairy path. I love the layering over the in-path games, or in-game paths. <laughs> and here we come to the beach. Wow. This spot is so cozy. 
and we have these leaf chairs. <laughs> I just got the DIY for a leaf chair, so I'm really excited to make some on my island. I like how every <laughs> every square is decorated. That's that's kind of hard to do. It looks great. Here's a beach picnic area for beach birthday parties, any kind of beach parties, love that. Oops, Move this way. What is this? Oh my gosh, I've never seen one of these hermit crab models. <laughs> That's really cute. And here we have our rock garden. It's a straight across rock garden. That's really cool. I like how there's a entryway to it too. All the rocks are accessible too, which is nice. Sometimes within rock gardens, you can't even like break your rocks <laughs> because of how you place them. That's kind of how it is on my island. And here's the tea olive bushes. I think they're tea olive. They're definitely not tea tree. Tea olive bushes, I think. This looks like a little orchard. Yeah. I like how it's an orchard. It's not in the rows, but I like that about it. That it's not in rows. It's kind of just looks like they naturally grew there. Look at this waterfall too. Really pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the area I was so excited about on when I saw it on Instagram. It's a little Christmas shop or Christmas area. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it has the tiny stools too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited about these Christmas trees. This year has been a hard one, and I know it's been a hard one for all of us, and sometimes we just need a little holiday joy. And this brings back all the cozy feelings I have surrounding the holidays. Nice piano. Let me put this balloon away so you can see better. These are one of my favorite mom's items. The mom's um, like pencil case or um, I forgot what it's called. But I like how they look like little houses. Oh wow. This is, it kind of reminds me, it's because there's so many lost items. It's like where lost toys come or a flea market, um, a secondhand store, definitely where things get a second chance. Again, more lost items. <laughs> I always feel bad for keeping the lost items for myself instead of giving them back to my villagers. I do feel guilty, but they're just so cute. I love using them in decorating as well. Again, she uses codes over the in-game paths and I love that. I love the look of that and you can get the, the shape that you want too. Here we have a little lavender garden. A silo. The gnome is keeping all the flowers watered. That's his little job. <laughs> okay, this is cool. We've got a music playing area, or like a little concert area. I love how all the instruments are color coordinated. And she has the white rattan set with the white instruments. And even this, um, uh, what is it called? Kimono stand? I think it's kimono stand. It matches with 
the the decor like the gold and the light blue and the white it all reflects in these instruments and that's really beautiful so here we have the resident services one of the things that she mentioned when she was looking for a new map was that she wanted her resident services to be away from her airport which i definitely understand i love that this gnome is guarding the entryway to the back of the island here we have a workstation this is really handy to have around your island i need to build one of these because i'm constantly running home to craft things or to resident services but it's really great to have a spot like that a little spa area very nice there's a tiger at the spa. He's just a friendly face at the spa. I love it. <laughs> With the mom's candles there. All the mom's items. Just gorgeous. And we have a bear tea party. <laughs> Bears and tea parties just... There is something about them. I like how she placed the codes under the... Um, mush lamps sometimes if you place these kinds of, it just makes it a little bit more complete looking because I feel like otherwise on the rocks they would look a little bare but under the or um, with the codes under them it looks really great and this is Karina's house she is not finished with the inside of it but we can appreciate how lovely the outside is Wow, this path is super intricate. It's got mushrooms in it. This looks like a little banquet area. This is really pretty. I love the wedding table. What is this? What is that? I don't think I've seen that or have it. I like it. I want it. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> and here we have a vineyard. Very beautiful. Wait, she doesn't have trees in between them. How does she get them to stay stunted? What? Can someone let me know in the comments how to keep your trees stunted without a tree next to them? That's sorcery. <laughs> I digress. Here's directly behind resident services. It looks like we have a little butterfly garden. A really pretty area. Oh my gosh, I love how she used the bamboo partitions. That's really clever. I mean, I know they're supposed to be used like that, but it just looks really good here. I've never, I've honestly never thought to use the bamboo partitions for anything, but they look really pretty. I especially like that color. And let's go across this bridge. Oh my gosh, where should I go? Let's go back here. Oh wow, looks like a little mail, like a little post office area, mini post office. Ugh, she loves these little stools and I do too. <laughs> I think they're the cutest things. And I like the tape recorder up there too. Oh, here's the museum. Let's go the proper way. And here we have the museum. Really pretty area. She again laid um, custom codes over the in-game paths. And I love the art outside of it. I like how it's just a standalone building too. Sometimes I feel like we get carried away in like, or at least I do, in like there has to be something like some land surrounding, some cliffs surrounding the museum. Either it has to be surrounded by cliffs or it has to be up 
on a cliff and it's kind of refreshing to just see it as a standalone building. I really like it. It looks really good. And let's go upstairs. Wow, it's a pottery studio. <laughs> I like the cake. <laughs> Very cute. And we go up here. Look at this, this like little pathway that is so unsuspecting. <laughs> like it doesn't look like a pathway, but this is the way you get to another writing area. This has post office vibes as well. I like how it's a way, um, an area to write your letters. You can write your letters over here and bring them downstairs to the mailbox. Really cute. I like this dark brown serving cart. And I like how she used the package QR codes on the scattered papers. That's really cool. What's on this side? Oh, okay. It's a nice, peaceful bath area. Wow, I like how she utilized the space for this. And here we have a tea table. The fences on the cliffs on the edge look really good too. And here we have our Stonehenge. The tree looks really cool there. And this leads down to another level. I love when the leaves do that when you walk through them. Oh, here's her campsite. I didn't even realize it was her campsite. This is really nice. It's a really nice camping area. We got a seating. Prime seating. We've got... We have laundry up there. Laundry upstairs. And let's go down to... It looks like a beachside cafe. <laughs> this is so cute. It's the beachside cafe right next to the secret beach where Red is here. Yum, this chocolate cake looks so good. <laughs> I'm a sucker for chocolate. And I like the codes that she used. So many codes. I know every, like, whenever you see someone else's island, you're like, how do they have more codes than me? I don't know why it always feels like someone else has more codes than you. Maybe it's just because we're so used to seeing our own codes that we're, like, tired of them at that point. <laughs> and here we have some houses or a house. This is, oh, I'm stuck. Here we go. This is Bones' house. Bones' house. Huh? There's a message written in small letters on the back of the photograph. Or an August 4th Leo. That's my brother's birthday. Favorite saying is, A snack a day keeps the vacuum away. Does it? <laughs> I feel like that just makes more crumbs. Oh, Bones, you're silly. A little birthday cupcake. Oh, I like how the like the colors just work so well here. She has the plaza bench. Very cool. Ooh. The paths are really helpful. <laughs> oh, here we have more houses. Okay, this one looks like Doby. Oh, she, she has. Does she have pictures of all of them? That's a lot of work. Apollo. I think she does have everyone's picture. That's a lot of fruit. <laughs> if you're doing the fruit method. Okay. Look at this little laundry area. We have Harv's clothesline. 
I love that it comes with the shoes, the sandals, <laughs> little Birkenstocks. And we have our wash buckets, Harv's wash bucket and the in-game one that, um, the pitcher, the simple or classic pitcher, the classic pitcher customized to that color looks great. What is this? It's a mush farm. And Deirdre takes care of the mush farm. <laughs> I'm so impressed with all these photos. I think I have two photos. I've gotten two photos in my whole time playing this game. This is amazing. And I like that path. This looks like Lair's house, if I'm not mistaken. And... Oh wow, I like how she used the dresser as a table. <laughs> it's really cute. Or as like a desk. And of course, Blair has to have her morning tea. Oh my goodness. This is just hidden there. We have another gnome maintained lavender farm. I love that. And here we have a little outdoor library with, <laughs> I love the lost item in it. That's really pretty. I love how she layered the rugs. Oh my God, there she is. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> so cute. This is Ketchup's house. This is Gabby's house. Looks like Gabby has a little bakery. <laughs> I love this pier. <laughs> a little birthday cake and a tiny library on the pier. <laughs> it's cute. This is has got to be my favorite statue. I've seen this once in person at the Louvre in France and it's, you cannot get close to it, but it is majestic, majestic. <laughs> oh, wow. Looks like a little, these could be either strawberries or tomatoes. And we have some watermelons. It looks like the gnomes, the garden gnomes, tend to be good gardeners. Who'd have thunk? This is Portia. This is Portia's house. I don't believe I've ever met Portia. Oh, Portia has a little hat business, it looks like. I like these green couches. Ooh, this is a little pink and purple area. I love all the uses of the um, plaza bench. Oh, and she has Harv's um, fencing. I guess we're back at the entrance. Here we have our Nook's Cranny. Very cute. It's all ready for fall. Oh, is this a money briefcase right here? <laughs> Did Timmy and Tommy, are they doing some money laundering or what? Looks like a lot of gold. <laughs> Look at these stockings here too. Is this a... No, that's not a code. <laughs> Thought it was a code for a second. Oh, and that makes sense because looks like... This could be where they sell some shoes, too. A little oddities, oddities shop. Love this color of the heart, too. Okay, up here we have the Able Sisters. And it's in Spanish. I love that. Hermanas Manitas. 
my pronunciation is not great, but... Oh my goodness! I need that... this corduroy... This corduroy overall dress? I need that. <laughs> These coats are so cute! I'm a sucker for a good dress code. Oh, not dress code. I don't like dress code, but <laughs> in-game QR codes. Look at this mint sewing machine. That's also really pretty. Here we have a costume shop. I saw this on Instagram. I think it might have just been yesterday for me. And it's so cute. Got the bear costume. The outfit you get from Gulliver. <laughs> Another outfit you get from Gullivar. <laughs> and the gold plated armor. This is so cool. It's like a costume and prop shop. It's pretty amazing. I would have like not thought myself to do a costume shop, but like you have all the materials, so why wouldn't you? And I don't think I went into this area. This is right next to the museum. I don't really know what to call this, but I like it. <laughs> it's very pleasing to me. It's like a little cluttered area that looks really good. I also love the cricket cages. I have yet to place a cricket. Oh, look at the green phone box up there. That's so cute. I like how it goes with, and it goes with the green furniture. A little green telephone box up there. You can really tell that the tower is leaning. <laughs> Here we have another little sitting slash eating area. Really cute with the Christmas decorations. Really cute with the holiday decoration right here. Just makes it so cozy. Carrot cake is also my favorite variation of the mom's cake. Oh my god, the tarantula model scared me. <laughs> that is terrifying. There's a huge tarantula right there. <laughs> I, wow, I did not notice that at first. <laughs> Let's keep going. Here's another little thin path right here. A little farm, bamboo lined farm. Looks great. Really good use of the stalls on this island. And the simple panels. I like how they're all different. We've got some custom codes and some in-game customizations that you don't need QR codes for. I think that's what... Yeah. <gasps> Wait, is that a rock climbing wall? I think this actually might be a rock climbing wall. Uh, maybe not. No. I think it's in-game. I don't know. Little mini islands right here. And the butterflies look like they're skipping through the water. Really beautiful. Here we have Ketchup's Mum Farm. You always need a yellow place to put your yellow mums because this is how you make mum cushions, which are a staple in my opinion. And we have a little beach pumpkin patch. How cute is that? Does she have two hat codes? Yeah, there's two different pumpkin codes. Wow. It just brings a lot of variation, which is nice. <laughs> and there she is sleeping right there. Sleeping in the pumpkin patch. Here we have another laundry area. You really can't go wrong with those. 
Oh, how pretty. Okay, this must be where Tutu lives. Yep, this is Tutu's house. I used to have Tutu on my island. And everything is pink. Because of course, that's what Tutu the pop star needs in her life. Her house is all pink and she plays Bubblegum KK 24-7. I love it. <laughs> Every single space on this island is utilized. Is this Genji? Yes, this is Genji. And is Genji a jock? He must be because <laughs> all this workout equipment. And here we have a little slice of be beach right here. You can have a slice of cake on the slice of beach. <laughs> Oh, and there's even a little outdoor kitchen with a microwave. <laughs> Just don't microwave fish in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another amazing island tour. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, be sure and subscribe. I'm putting out content on Mondays and Fridays. So be sure you're subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.